Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm gonna continue my testing of filaments from the Maker Box I received a few weeks ago. Uh, today I tried uh, two very different filaments. Uh, one is from Lay Filaments and it's called Malt Lay. This filament is, uh, as it says, is a great for metal casting and prints at 170 to 210 degrees and I used it at 180 degrees and it printed very good and I had no issues tuning it in. Uh, the prints came out really well and I will show you uh, after a while. Uh, the other filament was from Pus Plastics, uh, PC plus PBT filament. It's a polycarbonate filament. Uh, this filament gave me all kinds of troubles and I was uh, unable to get a good print with this filament. Uh, uh, the recommended temperature was 235 to 250 but uh, after digging around online I saw people were printing at 275 degrees and I even tried that and still gave me trouble with layer adhesion and uh, I got uh, a lot of warping also with this filament. So first I'm going to show you the prints I got with uh, the malt lay filament. Uh, it printed out without any problems and uh, I, just, I just adjusted the temperature uh, to 180 uh, and printed out with my PLA uh, settings. Uh, all the prints came out without any any special errors and the surface finish is very smooth and it uh, feels like wax uh, to touch. It's very very smooth to touch and pr the prints. So there was no no issues. Uh, maybe one, the one issue I uh, found is details in their letters were not very good. Maybe I need to to slow down the print a little bit, but uh, otherwise uh, I didn't have any any issues. And, and layer adhesion is, is really great. It's quite difficult to get this off. So this was uh, super easy and, and super uh, quick to dial in. Just uh, set the temperature. So this filament is, is quite good. Uh, has a good shine to it. And, uh, and if you're into metal casting, this probably is very good choice for you. The other filament, the, the Push Plastic PC Plus PBT filament, I had all kind of uh, problems. First I had really high warping and, and layer adhesion was just uh, all the layers were coming apart really easily and, and I had a series of fill prints uh, due to warping. Uh, I ended up using uh, a glue stick on the PI bed on my Prusa and uh, even though I did that I still got warping in this, like in this print. So it was very difficult uh, and on this print uh, I had the temperature at 175 and still layer adhesion is, is very poor and I don't know what kind of temperature you need for this filament uh, because I'm uh, having the recommended s setting up to 250 on the, on the document and I was going way above that and this was just not uh, not very good and I basically gave up because of warping and layer adhesion issues uh, I had so I have uh, some of it left but I just didn't want to spend more time on failed prints and so this was my experience with this filament. I saw some uh, YouTube videos with people talking about this filament and saying it was a very strong filament and had very good layer adhesion uh, at 170 degrees but I didn't get that experience on my Prusa printer so maybe some other factors have to be dialed in as well. 
Yeah, so this was a quick overview of those two filaments. One super easy uh, filament, the mold lay from lay filaments, and one uh, not very easy, <laughs> quite terrible for me at least, uh, from Puss Plastics, PC plus PBT filament. Uh, I'm not sure if, if, if I'm gonna spend more time with the sample, but uh, I was getting uh, quite frustrated uh, in the end with this filament but uh, the mold lay from lay filaments was really easy just hit, hit print basically so for now uh, this will be it and thank you for watching and see you in the next one